It is time to pick back up with college baseball. And now Sharp on the mound to get us underway. Swing and a foul there from Bellini. And one, two. Swing and a miss. Sometimes he's and then sort of took a back seat in that regard. There's a line shot into center field. And the Bearcats have their first base runner. Here with two outs in the first. Two and two. Sharp grounder. Gallo is going to have him two assists in the inning. Perfect defensive alignment. And a swing and a miss, boy. Talk about a back foot breaking ball. Up and away, and there's what Dylan Brewer brings to the offense as he'll ground it short. Could be two if Henderson doesn't hustle. There's the easy one, and a great turn at first base from Mercer to Nicholson. A good stretch there, and the Bearcats back their pitcher with a 6-4-3 out. Oh, a swing and a tip into the mitt. He really had merit fooled on that one to keep the inning alive and sharp issues the free pass or leads at first pretty good lead he's gonna lay one down make sharp feel and he does from Anderson up 20 miles up the road there's a smash to center and Murray's chasing it back that ball's off the wall he's gonna get it in in a hurry but he won't get it in in time a leadoff double off the 390 sign. And... There's a ground ball off the chest. The third baseman couldn't find it. We just talked about Santiago's defense there. He knocked it down, and I think he thought it maybe spun past him. First baseman is way in. There's a grounder left side, 6-4, to four, and that's the only out that they'll get. Bouncer to third. There's going to be a play at the plate. And Parker is out at the plate. So that time, Santiago made the play at third. And they get the force, or rather the tag. He came right at the crack of the bat. So that must have been the plan. Santiago able to atone there. And there's a ground ball, going to be a tough play for the shortstop, and he can't make the play. Play's now coming home, and he is out at the plate. They wound the runner around third. Hawkins aggressively tried to score on the low throw, and the throw just beat him. How about this play at the plate? Good play by the catcher. It was a good, ooh. Not sure if he got the first part of that home plate first or not. I'll tell you how to score that if you're just befuddled at home. Got There's him. a called strike three and a third strikeout in the first time through the order. Here's a one two. Oh, swing and a miss. The 0 two from Shaver. Bouncer going to be a tough play. Charging and throwing safe at first base. Bellini couldn't quite get there in time and here. Ball four. Brewer walks again. We're making him throw some pressure pitches. Snap throw back to first, and he's out. Powell hoses Brewer at first base, and the Tigers have now had three base runners thrown out in the first three innings. How about this play from Powell to get a big third out to back his pitcher? He must have been watching Tia Dose. Here's another one. Shot through the left side, a base hit. Two for two for James Parker. Got him. It went off speed. Shifted around to the pull side of the infield, and again, Sharp attacks the inside corner. And the ground ball to third his first time, and there he gets him on a strikeout. And Davis Sharp strikes out the side in the... Here's another one. Shot through the left side, a base hit. Two for two for James Parker. Not as good a start. Over the best of the bunch. Down low. 
An eight pitch at bat. Briar Hawkins draws a one out walk. To the second inning. High fly ball. Left center field chasing it back. Murray in the shadows and he made the catch. Well, he sprinted back like he wasn't real sure where that one was hit. Sharp. Here's a 2 2. Swing and a miss. And the tag makes it official. And that is nine pin. Teodosio with a shot to left for a leadoff single. On an 0-2 pitch, none more. Runner going, fastball's high, throw down to second, skips into center field. And that'll be a stolen base for Bryce Teodosio. Take another look. He upended the second baseman here. Watch again. Good job, yeah. It's a Throw might have had him. Now runner at second, nobody out. Right hits it high and back in the left center. Let's see if Teodosio will test the arm. He does. The throw from center field is offline. And Bryce is in there. There's a bouncer through the middle for a base hit. And the Tigers strike first. RBI single for Dylan Brewer as Teodosio scores here in the fifth. And that was a case where it made the difference between a hit and an out, although the second baseman to uh, make that as an out of first base, the run still would have scored. Big chopper just gets through there. And Brewer gets the first. This so far today in the lineup. Ooh, Ooh and it wow. hit him right on the hand. Mm. Swing and a miss. Good pitch off the plate, and Moore retires French, but not be. <laughs> Strike three no, call. He did not jinx that. 11. Ball four. The 0 2 pitch. Ground ball through the hole. And Bradley LaCroix throwing up the stop sign. The third base coach. That is an outstanding plate appearance by Pierce Gallo, and that's strike three. Wow, that had a hook to it at the end. Payoff. Bouncer. Tough play, and a good throw across. Santiago gets the out, and swing and a miss. 17 straight batters set down by Clemson Pitt. Ball four. So Brewer takes that walk. Be hard to come away with only one run today, and that hits him on the hip. We talked about that with Kemp. He hit four guys last year. He really didn't have control issues, but for that. Kemp, a big deep breath. That ball's lifted to center, and Murray's got to go a long way. He's looking up. It's out of here. Wow, that ball carried. Three-run shot. Jonathan French's first career home run gives Clemson all the insurance they could ask for here in the seventh. Let's see where that pitch was. Was it a little bit outside? And now it's over the heart of the plate. He got it. He could tell. You could see him, <laughs> his reaction as soon as he hit it. Man, Monty Lee to get that kind of production, the bottom 30 year lineup. And here, Gallo draws a walk, and you count the fielder's choice in the. That is about the highest form of praise. That's There's ripped. a rip to right center field, and that's what we're talking about. Two hops off the wall. LaCroix is waving a runner around. Oh, he is going to score. Grice is trying to get to third. He's got to get <laughs> down, and he's out. He is out, and the run scores. So Gallo gets across, and Grice gets the RBI double, the first of his career. 6-6, trying to leg out a triple. That might get a grin or two from the dugout. He showed some speed, though. I mean, <laughs> there's Jonathan French. He could trot around the bases with a three-run homer that extends Clemson's lead. Bouncer right side of the infield. That gets through. Even through the overshift. 
right. Already baked into the point. cake. There's strike three called by Matt Clark. And I think Thomas. The 0 1 2 in. Ground ball. Sneaks through. There it is. It's equal to his hit total of all of last year in the first game this year. Beyond his years. Bouncer to first. Could be two. Let's see if they turn it. They can. 3-6-3 three, three, double play. Nicholson, Bellini, and back. We'll take another look at that as we go out to break. Cincinnati down five, still playing hard. A chance to tie or take the lead in the ninth. He's thrown quite well out of the bullpen for the Tigers, and another swing and a miss. Crowd making a little noise. There's a shot. One hopper wow. to Gallo. Fields, throws, and that'll do it. About as good an opener as you could ask for if you're a Clemson baseball fan, player, or coach as the Tigers shut out Cincinnati and win it here on a Friday night by a score of 5 to nothing.